It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 3rd of November. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather fairly quiet through midweek with a few isolated showers. The next big rain event late this week and at least through a part of the weekend. A lot of questions about that weekend storm system, so let's dig in there and see if we can give you some answers. There is a very deep upper trough over the western U.S. Cold, unsettled weather there, mountain snow. Ridging building across the deep south. That'll push highs well up in the 70s each day for the rest of this week. Starting off the day in the 60s, Birmingham, Anniston 66, Tuscaloosa 67. Low clouds around, some fog, and again, we'll rise up well into the 70s today. But around the nation, noticeably colder in the west, and again, some of the mountainous areas there will see their burst, uh, first big snows of the season in coming days with that feature. A lot of winter storm warnings in effect for parts of uh, Montana, Nevada, for the mountains. Here in the southeastern states, all those counties in gray, those are dense fog advisories. Places like Nashville, Atlanta, Dallas, Fort Worth, and St. Louis. We don't have any in our state, but there could be some isolated fog problems, but that'll burn off soon. No severe weather expected around the nation today. Tomorrow, in advance of the western trough, there is a marginal severe weather risk in parts of west Texas. And day three could be pretty active. This is Thursday, the standard slight risk for cities like Dallas, Fort Worth, Waco, Abilene, Texarkana. The marginal risk extends all the way over to the northwestern tip of Alabama. That would be for late Thursday night. And uh, beyond that, there are no risks defined for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as the main dynamic support moves way north of here. I don't think it'll be a severe weather problem for us. But always something we have to watch. This is the fall tornado season. Rain for the next five days, valid through Sunday morning. This is suggesting rain amounts of one to one and a half inches for the northern half of the state with lighter amounts down to the south. And, of course, there are many questions about the weekend, and we've got some model changes here, as we thought we would. So let's dive in there and take a look. This is today at noon central time. There's a deep cold trough in the west ridging over the east. And you can see there's nothing to sweep out the moisture. The, the dew points stay up in the 60s today. So while there's no dynamic support for rain with the daytime heat, there could be a few little showers this afternoon. In fact, the uh, HER model shows that. Uh, this is today valid at 4 o'clock local time, and you can see isolated showers. So some of you might catch a little shower today. Uh, many places won't. It'll be isolated, but the possibility is certainly there. And we'll be well up in the 70s. The uh, GFS at 75, the NAM is at 77. Very similar tomorrow. Upper 70s are likely. Morning clouds, some afternoon sun, isolated showers. Thursday, pretty much the same story. A few small showers could pop up during the day, but nothing widespread. Highs, upper 70s, about 10 degrees above average. Now, Friday, let's look at the upper chart, and you see what the GFS is doing now. It's going to give us a different solution here kind of trending toward the European, it's lifting out that western trough in two parts. One part hangs back as one part shears out. The surface low Friday is way, way north of here. I mean, it's, it's up there approaching James Bay in Canada, trailing front down to Memphis and College Station. Uh, and if this is right, Friday, there would be a, an increase in the number of showers with that front, Friday afternoon, Friday night, maybe some thunder, uh, that could be an issue for the high school football playoff games Friday night. Now, here's the deal. On Saturday, the front runs out of gas. It loses the upper support, and it stops around Nashville and Little Rock, Interstate 40. And that's going to prolong the rain event. Saturday looks wet. Let's go to Saturday night just after midnight, and we are still wet. The surface high tries to push down in here. Uh, but this is suggesting the rain could linger Saturday night. Of course, we've got the Alabama LSU. That's the thing everybody's talking about. Well, all of a sudden now, that looks like it's going to rain for that game. And then Sunday, drier air pushes in here from the north. And let's check the European. It's had a very good track record, okay? This is Saturday evening at 7 o'clock, and that looks very wet, uh, and, the, and the European has performed very well this season. It's kind of suggested this while well, the GFS went its own way. But both models are now trending toward a wet solution Saturday night, which means we're going to have to bring in the chance of rain for that football game. And there could be some thunder involved. I don't think we'll have any severe weather. 
but some thunder, a distinct possibility in the in the European wants to leave Sunday wet. We've got model madness for Sunday, the GFS, cool, dry, the European mild and wet. And again, we'll probably lean toward this solution and hold the chance of rain into at least part of the day Sunday out of respect to that. So uh, football fans take the rain gear. And uh, let me back this thing up now. Uh, let me go back to Saturday at 7 o'clock. You got Auburn playing in College Station, Texas. Same situation. The, the, the European is now showing a, a wet look here for that ball game. So for Auburn fans traveling to College Station, Alabama fans in Tuscaloosa, I would be ready for rain. And there could conceivably be some thunder, lightning. There might be a delay at those venues. So just something to think about. All right, let's go to next week, Monday. Uh, the GFS uh, depicting a, a strong surface high nosing in from the northeast. That would be cool and, and probably dry. Now, Tuesday, a week from today, here comes your next trough in the western states. And down below that, moisture starts to ramp up to the west. And then this is Wednesday, the 11th, Veterans Day. This look is is good bit different from the other looks we've shown you. We've seen looks with a deep surface low closer to Little Rock or St. Louis. Now the surface low is near Duluth, Minnesota, uh, with a trailing front. That could bring some strong storms for sure, but the severe weather threat is lower with this look. And then on the 12th, which is Thursday, the trough kind of shearing out to the north and we're in dry air. So we'll monitor this thing for the middle of next week for signs of severe weather. We've seen different looks, but again, this look not looking as robust as other runs we have seen. Temperatures very mild this week. Highs well up in the 70s. Next week should feel more like November with highs dropping in the 60s and lows <coughs> dropping in the 40s. Even cooler air out there uh, toward the end of the period. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.